In 1944, um, I think in the fall of 1944, you, I understand you attended a Rosh Hashanah service led by Rabbi uh, David Max Eichhorn. Is that correct? Can you tell us about that? Well, it was uh, Rosh Hashanah coming on, and he uh, wanted to have services for the troops in that area. And he scattered around. And this is I, I read from his biography. He scattered around to find a suitable place, and he saw this synagogue in in Verdun. And uh, it was empty. So he looked at it, and he saw it was in pretty bad shape, but it was better than nothing. So he, he got some help from the army. He asked if he can get somebody to clean that out and they gave him a contingent of German prisoners of war to clean it out. And uh, they did. And he even said in his biography that they did a very good job of cleaning it out. Because it had been used as a storehouse. They took all the seats out and everything. It just Uh, the roof was in disrepair, it leaked, and it poured that day. So we were, we were, uh, they had given us a, uh, an option if we wanted to go to services, they provide a truck. And so I went. And it was very touching. Because there were about four or five hundred of us there. And we were standing in this wreck room, the roof was leaking, it was cold, and nobody complained, we just went through, we had a, actually a, a, not a complete service, but a quick service, and uh, somebody towards the end of the service started to sing a hatikva. The ones that knew the words uh, joined in. Very moving. <laughs> 